we going to play some bitch games in cosplay. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Two Joe Panda back in action. We're going to be playing some Counter Strike Source tonight. Um, so, Counter Strike Source, what can I say about the game? Hang on. I'm going to change some things about my setup here so I can actually see what I'm doing. Hope this doesn't interrupt the stream any. Okay, there we go. Much better. So, Counter Strike Source, what can I say about it? Basically, this this copy of the game was gifted to me years ago by some high school friends that I'm no longer friends with. But, hey, I will say this. The memory still prevails. Anyway, like, hours and hours of time would be sunk into this game just playing it because it was honestly a pretty sound concept. You have, like, counterterrorists versus terrorists. You're trying to either stop the bomb or you're trying to plant the bomb. You're trying to save hostages. You're trying to protect the hostages. Well, protect to keep. I mean... You're not really protecting them for, you know, beneficence or personal, like, altruism. When you're a terrorist, you damn well know what you're doing. Like, you are a bad hombre, and you are trying to, like, fuck shit up any way you can. Um, obviously, right now, I'm in cosplay. I just wanted to bring out some old nostalgia tonight. This all right here is from my um, Airsoft get days. So, as you can see, like, the helmet's got some, like... You know, white shit on there, um, scratches and stuff. Yeah, I didn't think it through. Um, I kind of decorated the summit a little bit, and um, recently I just scraped off the last of it today with rubbing alcohol, so that's why I'm wearing it tonight. And we're going to play some freaking Counter-Strike Source, so let's just jump in with it. Now, hopefully the sound isn't too bad, like, bothersome for you all, because, yeah, you know, that would just be, like, no bueno. Here, we're going to go look up CS. Man, there's only two maps of CS Office. Now, you gotta understand, like, it has been years since I played this game. And I have no idea if, like, this new mic that I set up on this new setup over here is working out alright. In case you haven't, like, been able to tell, I'm playing on a gaming, like, desk and stuff, separate from what I usually game on, so... You know, I'm trying to be a little more productive and proactive in how I do things, as opposed to, you know, just sort of being, I don't know, spontaneous and back at the bed all day, um, being lazy with things. So, we're going to try to do things proper from here on out. There are too many CTs. While I refuse to be a terrorist, I'm going to spectate from there. Fire the so as you can see, your choice is a terrorist and get the plane. You know what? Forget this map. Forget this map. I'm done with this map. We're gonna find better maps, okay? I'm very hesitant to click on anything that's like not sanctioned by um let's see. Cable sounds good. Yeah, I can do that. I can do cable. It's time for some goddamn diversity, goddammit. Terrorists win. Okay, so I'm gonna be this guy. I'm gonna be the SAS, which I think stands for Special Air Force Service or Special Air Service, something, something like that. Um, obviously, they're not giving me much in the way of money. Basically, in order to buy gear, you need to have like adequate funds, and in order to get adequate funds, you need your team either needs to win the game or you need to get some kills. And obviously, I just got, like, fucking injured because some dude ran behind me. Ruined my shot. Oh, shit. Shoot. Okay, well, at least I got a gun now. Um, what you can do is you can go into battle with just um, a pistol. You can, like, rip guns off of dead bodies. Which I would definitely say is a good, like, you know, opportunity. Dude, did you not notice the guy hiding behind the crate up there? Do I have night vision? No, I don't have a night vision. Of course I don't have night vision. Um, my biggest complaint about this so far is the simple fact that... Alright, so my simple complaint about this is that sometimes if you crouch, your character will do this weird, like, slide thing. Oh, fuck. 
What are those blue things? Is he throwing like... What the fuck? Yeah, he was just throwing knives. No wonder I was like avoiding those blue things. It was just like, I don't want to get hit by that. Ain't nobody gonna want to get hit by that. Dude, I didn't know that like knife throwers were such a like passionate pastime with the terrorists. I have no idea how well I can speak. They're probably hearing. I wanted to get a mouthpiece that goes like up here and like into the gas mask, but I don't know. I'm lazy. So, what you see is what you're gonna get. Oh man, I'm still poor. Okay, let's go. I am still poor. I can only. I'm gonna save that as my primary because I'm probably not gonna be able to get a decent gun for a while. I'm probably gonna have to keep stealing it from people. Oh, okay. You're gonna let them come in here. Okay. Well, guys, I hope that plan works for you because last time it didn't work so hot. Oh man, well, it's almost as if you guys should be going in there and talking to these people. Yeah, well. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yes, two for one. Suck it, man. This game is all about being okay, like, also your teammates are usually borderline useless, in my experience. Um, they're only in it for the kills, so they will not help you, unless, you know, there's mutual benefit to do so. Unless you're on a team where, like, I don't know, everybody knows each other, and there's, like, some sort of cohesion, you know? But generally speaking, they're not going to help you, like, unless there's mutual benefit. Even if you guys would win the map, they're not going to help you. They're just in it for the kills, okay? And I should know. I'm in it for the kills, too. So as you saw, like, I was doing pretty well there for a second until basically I had to reload and that guy ran right over to me and I'm just like, I don't know how to do this. That's cheating, dude. What's he doing? See, I'm not impressed with this dude. This dude is just, like, hiding behind this crate. This MW2 Hitman, bro. I'm not really impressed with his Hitman, like, skills. Is this one of the defective units in Hitman? Like, is it one of the Hitmen that are, like, defective? I don't know, I'm asking. Um, okay, so... I think I can afford something shitty. So, we're gonna buy... A scout. Hopefully these chuckleheads will help me out. And just so far, just being to hold this sec. Oh shit! <laughs> now this is a very cowardly tactic, but it works sometimes. There's too many trees in the way. That's my primary complaint. my shoulder. And it turns out I wasn't shooting anybody at all. Okay. Fuck! Got me! Okay, well, that's fine. I got some times for his crazy tactics. Let's see, is he gonna come over here? Is he gonna come over here? I don't think he's gonna come over here. And somehow, by doing absolutely nothing at all, we won. Which is usually how these things work. Right, 
so I'm gonna get myself back in position. Seriously, one of the things I don't like about this game is it has this weird tendency to like lean you to the left. I don't like that. Okay, let's see. He's in position. I'm gonna get myself over here. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Okay, he got over there. Oh shit. It's... Okay, he got taken out pretty quick. Oh fuck. Yeah, fucking off. Okay, I don't have to. Yeah, got him through the box. So obviously I'm being a little bit cowardly right now, but there's a reason for that. It's very easy to die in this game, so. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that was so. Hmm. That was like right through his fucking forehead. Enemy spot. Need backup. Okay. Go, go, go. You nobody know want that. Die down here than a Bruce Lee film. The hell? Look at this Kramer. I actually want one of those in my room. I don't think anybody knows how to shoot on this game. No, I seriously don't think anybody knows how to shoot. Okay, so ideally, these trees are going to afford me some modicum of protections. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Alright, this is the last time that I'm just going to be hanging back and, like, shooting from this why the fuck does it keep doing that shit? Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, let's go. team some bright young men I stand by that statement by the way I'm the brightest of the bunch I got three kills and three deaths which means that I am average let's compare that to the rest of the team see most of these people have more deaths than they do kills which means that I am doing slightly better than most other people on the team Like, it's like you're banking your entire history on that shot. Mm. And then he just like whips out his gut, like Glock and he's like, yo bro. See, this is the only game where you have a gun that can get like a one hit kill, no matter what you're using. This thing. I don't like this dingo guy. Counter terrorist win. Yeah, boy. Oh, okay, let's go. 
Okay, I'm gonna be an assault dude now. I'm not gonna be hiding back with that, like, Pinky Scout. I'm gonna definitely pull my weight. As an effective team member, I am definitely gonna be doing stuff. Or so I find. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Please don't shoot me. Okay, cool. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh geez. We did young man now, didn't go. I got him. I got him. Dingo ate my baby. He a bad man. He eats dingoes. I can't have that. I can't have no dingoes with 50 caliber machine guns. Oh yeah, let's see what we got here. Nope, we're not going to be doing that. Okay, let's go. Well, I guess I'm going to have to sell for this POS. Oh. Okay, I can do that. See, this, this room has like a weird janky ass light system. Okay, that guy is like a coward. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Wow, you two are nice over there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, hopefully they don't come back. That's a very big hope because I don't think that hope can be realized. See, most people are too stupid to realize that if everyone's over here, then nobody's defending back home at the base, so you can just go back there and. In most cases, start killing people. Ooh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Got... So, wait. If this guy came back. Wait, if you came back, does that mean the enemy is over here? You know, I got my answer. They are over here. Gotta be real quiet. Hopefully I don't get Oh, jeez, he, he scared me. This guy, boy. This guy's a butt. Okay, so usually people shoot from this little angle, but I haven't been privy to that lately. Oh, George stands a little too far. Fuck! Oh, fuck! Got two ideas of where it could possibly be. Oh, fuck! I'm gonna get shot! Dude, you better have this. You better fucking have this. Right, son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You, you fat bastard. Okay, let's go. Somebody is a cheapskate. You didn't buy a diffuse kit now, did you? What?
look at that. It keeps jerking me to the left for no reason. That ragdoll physics, yo. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I got a gun. I had to steal it from a dead body, but I got it. No, I'm looking at a laptop screen, so things may be close. Oh, fuck, that guy was upstairs. He's on top of the crate. Take him out, guys. Oh, son of a gun. Look at that guy. Waffles, yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Do you like... Oh boy, I got a pistol and I got a machine pistol. I can't possibly see how badly this will go. Oh boy, this is gonna go great. I can already tell. It's gonna be great. I need some backup. Backup. Like I said, um, Counter-Strike Source, the basic gameplay element is you got two teams, and one team is counter-terrorists, the other team is terrorists. The terrorists are usually trying to do some dastardly deeds, which usually means either planting a bomb or protecting some hostages. Well, when I say protecting hostages, I, sh I should say, like, you know, pulling them ransom. Now, obviously, you being, like, a counter-terrorist, which I am, and I'm currently, like, cosplaying as. You want to save the hostages, although some people like to use them as, I don't know, like, um, body shields, like human shields, meat shields. And you're not supposed to be doing that. You actually get a penalty for hostages that get injured in, like, your line of duty, but, you know. Anyway, like I was saying, Basically, what you want to do is you want to do your damn job, which is to defend a point from being attacked. get mission success from completing your duties, which means disarming the bomb if the terrorists plant the bomb, or, like, killing everybody. Also, there's, like, a limited time limit. You usually have three minutes per match. Enemy spotted. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no, no! Everyone's got fucking SMGs. Nobody has got rifles. 
Does this guy have anything? Yeah, yeah, we have 1990. Oh shit, oh shit, everybody pulled back. So, some of the, like, other strategies that you can employ is the fact that because you're a counter-terrorist and they have to plant the bomb, you can pretty much camp on the spot if you really want to, you know? Like, the terrorists pretty much have to come to you. Hoping to punk them. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go? You know what? I'm feeling like some Italy. I'm feeling like some Italy. Um, Italy's got some decent like sound effects slash like soundtrack. I I'm definitely feeling like some spaghetti. Maybe some meatball marinara. Maybe even a pizza or two. Okay, so, we got two choices here. I would say Italy. Definitely Italy. Um, Counter-Strike Source isn't as popular as it used to be. Surprise, surprise. This game has been around for like a decade, over a decade. So obviously, things are going to be changing a little bit. They came out with CSGO, as you probably already know. Um, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, what can I say about it? It's got better graphics, um, I would argue slightly more crisp slash, uh, wait, what the hell? Slightly more crisp, um, like, visuals, and, I don't know, better overall functions, does that make any sense to you guys? Um, other than that, I would say that there's virtually no difference, you know? This is not Italy, this is fucking Mexico man. Oh fuck, oh fuck, he's got Italy. He's got Italy. Holy oh, shit, he's got Italy. He needs to be a really master, like, I was like a master of the game. I know that doesn't work. But, um, I used to be like a master of the game, like, back when I came out. Uh, obviously some things have changed over the years, and I haven't really played this game religiously enough to, like, oh my god. It's, it's definitely grown on me over the years, you know? Also, I don't know if you can tell, this, like, that little, like, chink in the, uh, what should I call it? Let's see, I want to be in the buy zone, I want to buy some armor. Yeet! Got some vests, I ain't got no helmet because I can't afford it, but... is this game went through several iterations where like they would employ certain things to change the gameplay of it. Um what I was trying to say about this is that moisture is trying to collect down here and it's trying to make it So if I suddenly stop talking it's to uh interpret the comfort I don't have or want to possess. Anyway, as I was saying about this game, the mechanics, like the gameplay mechanics, are constantly changing, or they were. And simple like that section of the game, for instance, um, the economy issue, they like instituted some sort of weird economy like of scale issue. Basically what would happen is if you tried to buy something like a deagle, um, depending on demand, like that deagle could end up costing you over the cost of an op, you know? But I ain't going on there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they had destructible, like, components on those map. Damn it. I have not gotten a single kill so far. I guess I'm being too impulsive or some shit, but I don't know. I just wanted to, like, record some gameplay footage while I was in the best way. I hope you like the get-up. If the world ends in the near future, which is a, like a thing that you can see, I would definitely be dressed in something like this. Unfortunately, the helmet is not real. It's fake. It looks real, you know? It's 
So yeah, that's where we stand on the end. Terrorists win. Uh, I'll buy like donut. Oh man, I'm too poor to afford anything like this. I'm too poor. But guys, I want to go upstairs. Well, the one kill I get, the one kill I get, see, like everybody on my team is basically like a bunch of kids who shoot like cats. <sighs> now you may be wondering, why do I keep using this gun if I keep getting killed with it? The Deagle's power is actually deceptively high. Oh, shit, I can't open it. That should have killed somebody. So when you get killed, you're like sent to this little waiting area where you get spectate with some maps. They get so paranoid that somebody's gonna leak information during the match and artificially like win by metagaming. Um, I guess that's the terminology for it. Oh wait, let's actually look at those. Can I free look? Okay. See, like, look at these things. Wouldn't it be so cool to get up here and like use one of these 50 cals and gun people down if you had to? All right, well, things ain't working so well for me over here. So I'm gonna go in here Bloody cooks and must be. Okay, so apparently those dudes come from over there. Get in position away from my girl. Oh fuck. Why would you do that, dude? This guy's a fucking missile. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. I might rage quit here for a These teams are stacked, and if you're wondering what I mean by stacked teams, it means that I have a lot of shitties on my team. They have all the good people. <clears throat> How bad are these teams? Oh fuck, dude, they have all the good people on their team. We have like no decent people. Okay, well... I guess I'm gonna try this one more time. Oh, well, at least I got somebody with a grenade kill. Yeah, I'm getting like incredibly cheap, but if that's how I'm gonna get kills, that's what I'm gonna do, you know. Because, obviously, being all fucking, like, you know, skilled and pragmatic is not working. So, I'm gonna have to kind of be cheeky and, like, pull some punches. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Anyway, there's multiple ways to get kills. Obviously, what you want to do is just be able to hit the broadside of a barn, but if you can't do that, um, there are ways to sort of find your niche. Basically, what you do is... You get like a high, like velocity, like you know, high rate of fire weapon, like an RCP90. If you're cheap, 
or you get the machine pistol like I had and start like try to aim for the center of mass but if you can't do that obviously aim for the head but if you can't do that just aim for the body and eventually one of those bullets is probably going to lead to that guy dying and then you're going to kill him so you're going to be able to move to the next guy now here's the problem um well not so much a problem here's like the guaranteed red success this thing has a lot of ammo and it's cheap the problem is each individual bullet has the power of a bee an angry bumblebee look how this guy's just like sitting over here with a knife he's just like let me get to me let me get to me okay so basically i'm gonna hide behind this tv fire Okay, the TV is pointing them. It's probably going to help me eventually, like, block one bullet. 90s TVs were known for that, right? Stopping a bullet. From the bullet to the Great, somebody planted the seat. Yeah, you boy. Well, at least I showed up, bro. Well, at least I showed up to work, bro. I tried. I failed, but I tried. Some of it. Why are you like warp out of nowhere? Like top three of my team right now. Oh, I'm at the top two. Which ain't saying much because we got like eight deaths and four five deaths. You know, not doing great, but not doing terribly. Okay. Can if you can't, well, you should have less bro. Oh fuck.
don't want to lose money. Terrorists win. Teams are stacked so oh, bro, I don't know what I'm saying that. You already have a Kevlar helmet. Well, I don't have enough Kevlar helmets. Okay, Steel Team 6, we're gonna be right. Oh, fuck you, bro. Just fuck you. Get out of here with that. game is pretty self-explanatory. I don't have much to say except for like some tips and tricks along the way. But yeah, I'm probably- oh fuck that shit, dude. I didn't want that. The hammer automatically like- oh, you want together, this? Team. No, I don't fucking want that. I got the one dude that scout. Couldn't get the other. Well, I did the best I could. What did you do? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going over that this time. I'm going to follow this guy and see where this leads me. So, really, oh shit. I'm going backwards in this level. I hear him. you all enjoyed that because Roger that. I'm pretty much done with this game. So in conclusion, Counter-Strike Source. Great, solid FPS, turn-based, well not turn-based, just decent online multiplayer game that's like, you know, between team-based, FPS sort of deal. Um, mixed feelings on how some of the gameplay mechanics you know, functioned and changed over the years relative to other games, but I would say the tried and true premise still holds true to today. 
Would I recommend you buying it? Probably not. Not many people play this game. As you can see, um, I was actually struggling to find a decent map. See this list back in the day. Let's do a let's do a solid refresh. See back in the day, this like this list would go down all the way down. Um, and these days, I am seeing. I'm going to guesstimate that at least like 300 to 500 people are playing right now as we speak. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say that. Um, so obviously, get this game if it's like a couple dollars. Otherwise, don't bother because um, I'm not sure how long the servers are going to keep lasting for. But overall, I'd say it's a fun game. But, you know, obviously the Counter-Strike series has moved on to Go. So why don't you shift your attentions over to Go, you know, while it's still like, you know, solid. As for me playing Counter-Strike Source, um, I did this solely because I was feeling nostalgic. Um, I kind of move, move over to Gary's mod sometime and show off some like silliness in that regard. But I'll definitely like don this outfit up again and play Counter-Strike Go. Um, Global Offensive, that is. So, look, look forward to that video. Um, I might do a more comprehensive review of this game sometime, but really this is just sort of a remembrance and... You know, debuting this costume, because I love cosplaying, and if I can do it at home while I'm playing a video game, hey, more power to me, huh? So, anyway, I will definitely catch you next video, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Um, take care, guys. Peace.